friends and welcome back to the Urban Homesteading channel. If you've been here before, we want to extend you a warm welcome and invite you to like us and subscribe to our channel. If you have not done so, what are you waiting for? If today is your first time visiting with us, I want to extend you a very warm welcome and invite you to watch any of our over 400 videos that we've arranged for your convenience in playlists as we are confident you're going to find something both enjoyable and entertaining. Uh, enjoyable and, and informative. And very warm and very welcome. Very warm and very welcome? Twice. <laughs> if today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. In today's Wednesday Quickie, we're going to do another first look and we're going to discuss the benefits and answer the question if you should have a 3D printer in 2020. I mean, it's very late 2019 today, so we're going to consider that the 2020 process, right? And no, this is not the first look item, even though this is a, one of my favorite knives. We're going to use that to open our box, which is right here in front of us. My part of the camera. Well, yes, you are to pass to the point where you're uh, blocking the view. So, here you go, that's a printer. <laughs> that can be the shortest unboxing ever, right? Yeah, wow. I have no. Ready? Is it upside down? Yeah, it is upside down. Mm. All right, I need my knife again. This is riveting, isn't these it? Are, these are zip tied on there. Do we have a uh, scissors? Scissors? Yeah. Okay, we're going to cut these. Very exciting. They clearly were afraid that the extruder will go someplace. They... Wow! Does it have two extruders? Yes, it does. It has two nozzles. And some software. Do we have a computer here with a CD drive? Who, has, who uses CD drives anymore? Okay. And we need to figure out how to get the boxes out. So there is a box here. And there is a box here. Now, what I find intriguing about this is that this is um, plywood. I mean, you can see it there very clearly, right? I mean, it looks very well made, but it is plywood, right? Mm -hmm. And apparently it's a CTC printer. We don't know that because of the box that said nothing, but it says here, support, please visit ctcprinter.com. So I presume it's a CTC printer. Well, you know. Okay. All right, let's... So CTC stop. FDM 3D printer. And I presume this is the slicing and processing software. Right? Now, let's see what's in the box. I presume it's filament. It's taped. It's taped. Not just taped. It's taped. taped. But wait, there is more. So that's very nice. It comes with a PLA filament. And that's an, enough of an amount to do something, actually, right? What I have not seen yet is a power cord. Is that optional? Oh, no, it isn't. Uh, it's here. Can you receive power cord? Here is a power cord. Here is a USB cable. 
Here is a spool holder, which I don't know where it goes because we haven't, I presume the uh, power plug. Uh, I presume the directions are probably in there, you know. These seem to be three d printed parts, don't you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, which I don't know what they are either because we just opened the box with you. We, we didn't cheat. And these are extra screws or something we have to do? Uh, some Allen wrenches and um, a fuse. So I don't know if those are extra parts or they are uh, what you call them, something that we have to, to do. We're going to go through the, the printer and see if we need to do anything. Definitely this is wood. Hold it. I mean, it's, it has no weight on it. Which is, I guess, is a good thing because the, the printer is not heavy, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to, I'm going to remove this, uh, <coughs> what do you call it? The, it's a film. Yeah, it's it's the most satisfying thing of doing anything, I think. Anything. Yeah, anything. More satisfying than anything. Not that way. I'm just saying. You You're dirty mind. You're the one who said it. You dirty mind. You're the you. one who said it. That's a lot of filament, actually. I'm surprised that they sent that big. Usually, my other 3D printer came with like a tiny, tiny yeah, mark. Because they didn't get to see it. The tiny? Yeah, the tiny. Tiny. Well, first impression. What do you think? Of mess. No, that is unpacking. So, your first impressions? As I said, it makes a lot of trash. No, the printer doesn't make trash. We made trash. Mm. Well, it came in a lot of packaging in spite of having no inner box. And we didn't see a, a manual with it. Well, that may be on the disc. But also, there is a nice LED display, and that actually seemed to give us the directions we need, right? Well, some of them. Uh, pretty much all of these little screws, and there's a bunch of them, with the Allen wrench head, uh, all of them are loose upon arrival. It has kind of a Borg look to it though, right? Borg? You're very fascinated with the Borg right now, but sure. Well, no, look at all these... Bolts? Bolts and screws and... and so, <clears throat> to the best of my knowledge, this is the TZT 3D printer. It has dual extruders. We have not uh, even bothered with the second extruder yet. It took us some time. How long you think it took us to level this? Oh, at least 20 minutes, wouldn't you say? So this this is uh, taking a little patience. Mm -hmm. Now the printer did direct us on how to do it. And the other part of that is that there are screws underneath here. This is this is one of them, and there's one in each corner that you have to tighten and loosen in order to level out the uh, extruder tray here. And is that the correct term? Yeah. And I don't know what these parts are for. They, I don't know if they were simple prints. If they were, that's pretty impressive actually, right? Um, yeah. Uh, but I don't really know what they are. They might be something that we need, but the printer has not told us yet. What is a CTC tree maker? Is that what it is? Twine maker? Twine maker. Twine maker. Means dual, right? Yes, yes. Twine. Twine. And honestly, we have not done anything with the second extruder at all because I don't know how to do it. So, mm -hmm. well, wait. This is our first look. Uh, first look, first impressions. Uh, I do like the printer. I like the look of the printer. I like that it is light. As a woodworker, I like that it's made mostly from wood. It doesn't have a lot of uh, waste materials and. Because it's made from light wood, it is really not very heavy. And I can attest to this because I've picked it up three times already. Right. structure there that I'm sure is printing for support and it seems to be laying it very nice this is actually almost beautiful almost tempted to make another print just to maintain the honeycomb 
uh, as, as a visual display. I really think it is doing a great job on it. So it looks like it is building a bust. <clears throat> It is very hard to actually record here because uh, of the light we have and the way it is signed. But we see the supports there uh, for what I presume will be the head which is it printing now, so it printed the bust. This is a process that takes quite some time, so you have to be patient. But I hope that the print will complete. It is not uncommon for 3D printers to have a failure at some point. Specifically since this is the first print for this printer, has not fully been dialed in. It will be surprising if this first print is successful. But I still want to hope that it will be. The process is fascinating, but however quite health, uh, lengthy. So let's stick around and see. I'm not going to show you, of course, the whole build. But right now, I will let you see a little bit of it and hopefully a finished product soon. Okay. Our print has completed. And I must say that for the first print of this printer, I'm unbelievably pleased. This is just amazing. Let's see if we can show you the detail. Very smooth. I see no mistakes, no errors. We'll try to remove it from the, the bed. But I see nothing right now that is of concern. The supports look great. Look at the detail on the head, look at the ear, look at the eyes, everything looks amazing. A very successful first print, if I say so myself, in every axis actually. And here is a view from the top, and you can see how well this model has executed. And here is our finished print, and it has a lot of detail. What you see here are actually supports for the back hair and the chin but the print quality is exceptional you can barely see the, the layers and unfortunately I don't have small snippers to, to take the supports off for you but we will do it and try to present it to you in another video but just looking at the model I am extremely pleased keeping in mind that this is the first print out of this printer what are your thoughts? Yes, you. It does look nice. We just need to get something to be able to take those supports off. So is this a good printer? I would say it is. It came fully assembled. And even though it didn't come with directions, the, the LS, not the LSD. <laughs> <laughs> the LCD gave pretty comprehensive and uh, easy to follow directions on how to get into your first print and I thought you've chosen like a a cube or a very simple shape to print instead of this this took three hours to print what do you think about that? too fast or too slow? which for the level of detail and what this is I think it's uh, not a bad speed uh, I don't have any method of comparison so I don't know and as you saw from uh, before, it lays a honeycomb inside, both here and on the head and on the neck. It has a good feel to it. What do you think? Did you lift it? I mean, it's not heavy, but it is. it feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's falling apart or yeah. anything. So overall, very, very pleased with this well, outcome. So for its size, I'm a little surprised that it has a fairly small uh, bed. Right? I mean, it cannot print anything bigger than this bed, clearly. So, but it says laser printed. It has a laser. Oh, 
No SD card found. So it, it needs an SD card. Really? Well, we're still looking for it. Look where that has to go. Do you think maybe it goes anywhere up here? No, I don't know. We are going to probably have to look in the CD uh, and see if there is a manual because now it asks us for an SD card. There's and two fans here. Well, yeah, because it's extruded. Uh, there are two different extruded. I know, I'm yeah. just telling people what it has. See, I would have thought that the SD card should be somewhere here. You would think. But it isn't, clearly. Okay. So, first impressions are positive. Uh, it clearly would like to print with it and, and test it and we'll get back to you. I think in, in 2020 uh, a 3D printer is a positive thing for every maker to have as it will allow you flexibility that you didn't have before. And uh, while I have uh, two C 3D printers uh, in our other house in Kansas, um, neither of them is a dual extrusion uh, printer like this one is. And I hope that uh, soon I will have back another video for you guys seeing this printer in operation. I uh, hope you enjoyed this short episode and if you did please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't the other button works as well. Share, like, subscribe and let us see, know what you would like to see in the channel. From the Grass Wizard, Mrs. Wizard and Elpida, we bid you a great week and we'll see you on the weekend. Farewells friends.